Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another What I Eat in a Day video. Thank you so much for taking the time to log on and join me today for a fantastic day of food. And today is a Sunday, which means that generally I tend to be quite busy on a Sunday with home things and yeah, so Sundays tend to be quite busy, but they also tend to be days where I do a bit of home stuff and things like that. So I weighed a quick breakfast this morning, but I wanted something that was actually quite sustaining and filling for all the chores that I have to do. So I had porridge, but with a little twist, I had some gorgeous toppings on there today. One of which was a caramelized white chocolate drizzle sauce, which I'm so in love with. It's so delicious. So I'll insert that now. Because I'm having porridge, and porridge is something I have very, very often, I do like to mix it up with toppings because one can get quite bored. So I have a few interesting things to put on it today. So I've made it according to how I normally make it. I get a lot of questions as to how I get it so creamy. I use Ready Break, which is basically oats for children. I prefer it. It's far less stodgy. It doesn't quite make me feel as bloated as normal porridge or oats does. So that's what I have. And it tastes delicious as well. So I have my normal combination of raspberries and blackberries. I have them pretty much every day. I really love them. Um, I've kind of got off blueberries a little bit. I have some demerara sugar. I have a light sprinkling of this. I don't tend to track it, but you guys feel free to do that. And this is really interesting. I got sent these in my ambassador box. That is some crunchy spelt cereal flakes with chocolate. Now these are five points per bowl um, on all three WW plants. I like to use these as a topping. You can have them as traditional cereal, but I'm today going to be having them as a toppings. And then finally, yesterday I caramelized some white chocolate, which I'm very excited about. Um, and I thought instead of having caramel or biscoff, I would melt um, some white chocolate, um, caramelized white chocolate up and use it as a drizzle over the berries. And I think that's going to taste delicious. And in between uses, I keep it in this silicone sandwich bag. I have a few of these and they're, they're brilliant for storing stuff in. I really like them. So I'm not going to want much. Um, this is basically caramelised white chocolate that I make myself from this really gorgeous, um, high quality, high fat content chocolate, which isn't the best for me. But again, it's just for a drizzle. I'm just going to melt it up. I'm not going to have too much. I'm going to weigh this out as if, as if it was like a quarter of a bar of caramac because that's the only thing that I can get that's quite similar to something like this. And it was so delicious guys, I love it so much. Um, so yeah, definitely give different toppings to go on your porridge because it just keeps things a little bit more exciting. And lunch is also gonna be a really lovely one because I want to make those sourdough pieces again, but I wanted to try them out with different toppings. Again, a nice spin on something that has become quite a classic in my menu. So for dinner tonight, I'm having steak, which is a Sunday special. So great day of food, I hope you all enjoy it, give it a thumbs up if you do, subscribe. I'm wearing my big chunky knit from H&M because honestly it's one of the snuggliest things ever. This long sleeve t-shirt is by Monkey, I wear these all of the time, I have them in a fair few colours I have to say and these are my house jeans for the new look. as to what I've just done. So I'm making my sourdough based pizzas again. You guys have seen me make those before. But instead of having chicken tikka or just cheese, I decided to have IKEA meatballs. Now I have tracked these on the app. They are one point per meatball. I had three. So that is three plus five for the bread, which is eight points, plus two for my cheese. So it's a 10 point lunch today which is quite high, but considering it's a really indulgent um, kind of lunch, I really don't mind. You could even just have one of these, like there's no need for you to have two, it's just, I love two. And then basically I just sprinkle some spinach on the top, pop them into the oven. <laughs> So 
it's now time for afternoon coffee. The sourdough pieces were amazing and I loved the meatballs on there. They were great. So I'm just about to have one of my sachets of coffee. I mention these a lot and I actually am going to start linking them in every video because I get a lot of questions about them. Basically it's a latte sachet that I get. I buy them in bulk from Amazon and they are so reasonably priced. I get a box of 40 for between 8 to 11 pounds on Amazon Prime depending on what offers are on but they are so good they are so whippy and light I will link the seller down below so you guys can go and check them out make sure you do because honestly they're incredible and they basically give you that coffee shop feel um, without having to have an espresso machine they're really frothy and light I really do like them so these are actually four sachets a serving or so four points a serving sorry are per sachet I don't track my coffee but feel free to do that guys but you do not need to add milk to it so the milk is factored in so now it's time to make dinner it's going to be a super simple one I have marinated my steak on both sides with salt and pepper olive oil um some garlic, some lemon juice, and some steak seasoning. So that is ready to go onto the grill pan in a moment. But before that, I'm gonna roast some vegetables to have alongside. I have some red onion, some red pepper, and some aubergine along with some garlic as well. And this is gonna be a delicious, and I'll also sprinkle some cheese on that just before it comes out of the oven. <laughs> which was delicious by the way and that veg and the aubergines was just perfection I ended up falling asleep I was in a complete and utter food coma it was a Sunday night and I just fell asleep so I thought I would end the video here check out the description box for smart point values and how much I consumed and if I had to roll over or anything like that because to be honest I cannot remember because I've literally slept since then but yeah thank you so much for watching don't forget to give it a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new I'm actually filming a what I eat a day today as well so that is coming very soon I'm going to be making a Turkish pizza which I'm very excited to share so make sure you subscribe to click on the notification bell so you do not miss it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.